again, church. Good morning. Good morning. I want to. Uh, I, I want to recognize uh, a few folks. As you recall, on, on last Saturday, we began recognizing individuals for their contribution to community service in this community and this church. And that was a whole lot of folks. And we're going to do a couple folks today and next week and the following week because what we recognize is that community service is everybody's business. It's all of our business. And no matter where you serve in this community, you're doing a good work. And God is pleased with that. This church is pleased with that. And you're simply making it a better world for all of us to live in. Um, let me just thank the folks from South Brevard who are here. I want you to know that a member of your church, your community service leader, is very near and dear to my heart, L. Dave Foster. He is a fantastic individual, uh, and he is part of the reason that you are here today, uh, because he believes, he's convicted that community service is everybody's business. Uh, again, I, I, I want to thank uh, my dear sister, Shirley Wolf, from Bethel, the community service leader for Bethel. Right. Shirley is here. She's been here from the very beginning because she's convicted that community service is everybody's business. Amen. I want to thank uh, Elder Peen, uh, who did our Sabbath school this morning from the Bethel Church. He's here because he believes, he's convicted that community service is everybody's business. Amen. I want to thank Dennis Stowe. Stand up, Dennis. Let everybody look at you. Dennis is here fully dressed this morning because he's convicted that community service is everybody's business. Thank you, Dennis. God bless you. I'm just so grateful for the privilege that I have at this time to, and Elder McNeil, if you come up here with me, uh, Pastor McLean and uh, Elder McLean. I didn't make a mistake now. You look at your bulletin. And you'll know that we have Pastor McLean and Elder Dean McLean. <laughs> Pastor McLean, uh, I've been down, I've been down to your church on several occasions, as you know, uh, harassing you. <laughs> and uh, he's just been so gracious. But uh, I have seen the work that he's doing down in South Brevard. And let me tell you something. When I first saw him, and I heard him speak, it was on community service. Amen. So I began to refer to him as the community service pastor. <laughs> and so we want to recognize you today for the kind work, the wonderful work that you're doing for not just for South Brevard, but for all of Brevard County, for your leadership, for your dedication, for your contribution in this ministry. Thank you. From our pastor, Pastor Amado Lesbitt, our first elder, Elvin Dwayne McNeil, and myself, Dan Grant, and the members of the Coco Church. Thank you. Also, also, as I said, uh, for the next couple of weeks, we'll be handing out uh, a little something to those individuals uh, that have made an impact in this community. Now, all of you know that we have someone in this church who is on the battlefield for our Lord Amen. as where Bible studies are concerned. Amen. He is out there on the battlefield believing, giving Bible studies, preparing hearts and souls for the kingdom of God. Amen. And we just want to recognize him for that. Uh, Derek White, Derek, would you come forward? Amen. All of you know Derek, and all of you know where his heart is. Yes. And, uh, and I, we just want to thank him, Derek, for your dedication and your leadership to Bible study and outreach for this church. Mm. We want to thank you for that. Amen. Thank you so much. Now, program will proceed as it's listed in the bulletin. <laughs> 